The U.S. has sent an additional 130 military uh, personnel to Iraq to help contain the threat from hardline Islamic uh, State militants. And for more, Paul E. is joining us from the News Center. Paul, Washington's already approved U.S. airstrikes to aid security forces there, and we actually have the first batch of military personnel. What's this latest military team hoping to accomplish? Well, U.S. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel, who recommended the operation, say they will solely act as military advisors to the Iraqi government forces, clearly stating they will not engage in combat. The group of 130 Marines and Special Operation members arrived in the city of Erbil on Tuesday to help assess humanitarian situations in the northern Kurdish region. They'll be joining the 250 military advisors who are already in Iraq. This as tens of thousands of Yazidis are still said to be trapped on Mount Sinjar in desperate need of food, water and shelter. The president has authorized uh, uh, me to go ahead and uh, send about 130 uh, uh, new uh, assessment team uh, members uh, up to uh, northern Iraq uh, in the Erbil area to take a closer look and uh, give uh, uh, a more in-depth assessment. Meanwhile, in Baghdad, a suicide bomber attacked a checkpoint near the home of the newly appointed Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi. There has been no word yet on casualties, but according to local media, a building had sustained heavy damage.